that doesn't know the animal that doesn't want Bigger in my company, I'm bigger in my company, I'm bigger in my corporate size. Mine, 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 mine. You got bottom line. Mm, say, smell your smoke, smell your smoke. Sloppity clock, sloppity slop. Can I be? I'm just building the economy. How bad at, at, at can I be? Just looking, making me cutting this. So gratifying. Oh god. Then I, then I, then I. I grabbed her hand and screamed, GAH! As I felt a knife go through my chest. It was Jivey's voice. I don't want you to feel any more pain. Good night, she said, sobbing, running her hands through my hair. Adriel, my vision then became weak. Oh dear, I'm so glad you're safe now. I smiled and cried, and I'm glad you saved me. I opened my eyes wildly. What can I say? We're best friends. The best of them all. Happened. So my. I hear from a tall, red-eyed, black hair, bloody hospital gown dressed girl. I started to find my face covered in tears. I looked at Jivey's corpse on the ground, a puddle of blood from underneath. The girl's head. <laughs> I don't mind this laughter. Okay, okay. I was covered in it myself. I screamed loud. It's almost like you could um, say China. The knife was laying on my bed. I threw it across the room. When a doctor was coming in, I got him in the chest. I was almost so panicked, I almost had a heart attack. I rolled out of the bed, lying next to Jivey. Hold me. I'm cold. I do years later. I was doing some research on my laptop and found this alt and strange but familiar in some way. Murderous serial killer. Red eyes, black hair, evil, blood drip smile. I studied the picture, but I couldn't find out where I had met this dangerous girl. Then it hit me. You're mine. I've heard that before. I wasn't even trying to focus on that.